Hey everyone, welcome to another video. The other day I asked you guys on my community page what you thought of the term Spirit Hamon. For those who have never heard of this, it is featured in Eyes of Heaven and is spoken during an interaction between Jonathan and Part 4 Jotaro specifically. <laughs> I haven't seen many people discuss this term in detail since discussing with Wallcamophone on a few occasions. Today I wanted to talk about what you guys think, what I think it is, and what I think it means for JoJo overall as a whole. The differing opinions regarding Spirit Hamon are interesting and more conflicted than I expected. 22% either never heard of it or played Eyes of Heaven, which in itself isn't a surprise as it's a PlayStation 4 exclusive at the time of recording this. Another 22% of you believe Spirit Hamon to be a link for Hamon users that give them the ability to eventually develop stands. Now this is more in line with what I believe, so I'll go more into that later. Another 22% say that it is just another term for stands themselves, but stated in a way that helps a Hamon user better understand the power itself. I could see this being the case in some areas, like for example if Caesar survived part 2, he could potentially refer to stands as spirit Hamon, but we have no idea because he doesn't do that. It never happens. Then, the majority of you guys, with 33% of the votes, believe Spirit Hamon was just a throwaway line to explain stands to Jonathan casually. Now, I can understand why people have come to that conclusion, but in the context of JoJo itself, I don't believe this to be completely true. As mentioned prior, I believe Spirit Hamon to be a link for Hamon users so that they can eventually develop stands. My reason starts with Araki's statement on Old Joseph in Jojonium Volume 9 which also appears in the English hardcover of Stardust Crusaders Volume 2. I've always wanted to make pictorial visualizations of supernatural abilities since JoJo began. Stands were based on this concept, just like Ripple, aka Hamon, was. So when I thought about putting Joseph back in the story, I needed to decide how I would visualize Ripple as a stand. Ripple is life energy that travels through the entire body through a special breathing method. Therefore, a concrete visualization of it would be some sort of wire wrapped around the entire body like a vine. If Jotaro's group time traveled to the world of Part 2, they would probably be able to see Hermit Purple wrapped around Joseph, just like in Part 3. Now with that being said, despite this explaining the reasoning for Joseph having Hermit Purple, I believe it is safe to assume the same is the case for other Hamon users. Take for instance, Dio with Jonathan's body. Closer to the beginning of Part 3, we could see Dio using a version of Hermit Purple, and in the anime it looks more like an indigo, but that just could be the lighting of the scene at the time, because it was pretty dark, and the crystal ball illuminated the whole room. In the 2000 art book Jojo a Gogo, -Go, this similar stand is stated to belong to Jonathan himself, or rather his body in this case. Its name and detailed description of ability has only been mentioned in the non-canon light novel titled George Joestar, so I won't go into detail here, but perhaps another video down the line. Regardless, what's important here is that it showcases Jonathan's body is capable of possessing a stand that looks similar to an already existing stand, described by Rocky to be a concrete visualization of Hamon. Now this takes us to Holly Joestar, or Holly Kujo. Part 2 showcases how Hamon potential can carry on through their family ties. Lisa Lisa trained in the art before having Joseph, causing Joseph himself to have a natural affinity to Hamon without proper training, as seen when he saved Speedwagon at the age of 10. Due to how much potential Joseph had, I think we can safely assume that if it was needed, Holly could have learned Hamon, but with the Pillarmen and Vampire threats eliminated, besides Dio at the time, there was no reason to learn it. Hence why the stand Holly develops is not that of an aggressive looking one like Permit Purple, but rather tangled ivy and roses with slight thorns. Anyways, the main point I'm trying to make is that I believe stands in Hamon are more closely linked than most people would agree with. Stands could have very well been Spirit Hamon in name, and in the most literal description of it. With Hamon being life energy, and stands emerging from one's soul, it could be fitting to describe the energy stands are made of to be the same energy that allows Hamon to conduct. This begs another question. Could all Hamon users become stand users? But I would like to know what you guys think. Am I overthinking everything? Do you guys have any other possible explanations for it that I left out? Or am I completely off the mark and should just accept Spirit Hamon as a term regarded in a video game 
just to pass off information. Regardless, I appreciate you making it this far into the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and feel free to recommend any topics that have either loosely been covered or not covered at all in this video or other videos that I've made. If you're interested in the gaming side of JoJo, I would ask you to check out the most recent Phantom Blood PS2 video. It is a really unique retelling of the first JoJo part, and I believe it's worth experiencing. I've been having a great time with it. I'm excited to make the second part to it. I'm not sure if that'll be the very next video I do, but it is coming eventually. I hope you guys have a great day, great night, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.